How's it going, YouTube? Uh, I just want to give a quick update on uh, my recent build here. Uh, if you've been following my computer builds, uh, you notice I've slowly been progressing, um, moving up to different cases and, and whatnot. Um, this particular case is a new one for me. Uh, it's made by a company called Case Labs. Uh, if you're not familiar with Case Labs, I'll put a link in the description below. Guy makes custom cases, uh, absolutely wonderful cases. Uh, this particular case is called an M8. Uh, he has a bunch of different flavors and varieties. Uh, as you can see, this is a double wide, um, so it's twice as wide as my uh, Obsidian 800D, but not quite as tall. Uh, this first part of the video, I'm going to be going over this new case, and then we'll get inside the, the guts. Um, when you got twice the space, you know what that means. Uh, more water, water cooling stuff, so uh, let's get to it. Uh, again, the name of the company is called Case Labs. Um, this particular case is called an M8, fully modular, full aluminum. Uh, the top comes off, side panels come off, front panel comes off, um, all kinds of uh, bays, so you can arrange this thing in all kinds of different configurations. Uh, removable motherboard tray. Um, I really like this case. I can't say enough about it. Diving into some of the features of this, um, as you can see, I've got the the top right here kind of propped off, so I'll pull this off. Um, it actually snaps down, removes this full aluminum as well. Um, the extra space on the top here, uh, it allowed me to mount two. 360 radiators. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark in here. Um, but I've got two black ice GTX rads mounted on the top. Um, what you're seeing visibly here are six Gentle Typhoon AP15 fans um, with filters on them. I put filters because these are all intake. And what you see on the bottom here are actually just gutted fans uh, that I'm using for fan shrouds. It's kind of a cheap, economical way of uh, making shrouds. Um, I've gone as far as sleeving all the cables. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but I've sleeved all the fan cables with paracord. Um, really cool stuff. Cheap way to to sleeve your your cables there. Uh, I, you know, I guess something else I hadn't shown everyone is my new monitor setup. Uh, I'm running an iFinity, I'm sorry, uh, it should be surround because I'm using NVIDIA cards. Um, a surround setup. I've got three ASUS 24 LED monitors running in surround. Um, and of course, now that you know I've got it running in surround, take a quick peek inside there but the doors side doors actually just lift off these hinges which is actually quite nice um, set that down get that out of the way kind of give you a breakdown I've got an EK dual bay spin reservoir up front there um, I've switched to a Scythe Kazi 6 channel fan controller and I still have that Blu-ray drive. Uh, I've got another Gentle Typhoon AP15 fan in the front here. And on this side, um, I've actually got three high-speed Yate Loons um, doing exhaust. Uh, builds up a lot of heat on that side, and I'll show you why. Um, I'll actually stop this vid and pull the side cover off and we'll take a quick peek. Alright, uh, updated system. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of changes from the, from the last build. Um, I still have the same motherboard and the same RAM. Uh, the motherboard is an ASUS uh, Maximus 4 and the RAM is 16 gig of Corsair Dominator GT2000. Um, what you see here is I've actually changed color of the tubing. I've got red UV Primo Chill. Um, I'm running a couple black lights. I've got one here, 
and one here. Uh, probably the biggest change is that I removed the single card, the GTX 590, and now I am running three uh, EVGA GTX 580 Hydro Copper 2 FTWs. Um, they've got SwiftTech blocks on them. Uh, they're absolutely blazing fast. Uh, I can't say enough about the cards. I, I'm very happy with them. Um, just kind of give you an idea of, of how I did the inside. Again, there are so many different ways that you can put this thing together. Um, but this is just what I did. Um, I still have one of the Cooler Master Sickle Flow Blue LED fans left over from the last build I'm using in the back for exhaust. Um, but this is the, uh, uh, and I still have to paint this. There, there are some things I still needed to do. Um, there are some cables that I still need to sleeve. You see down there, the, the blue cables are from the front I.O. panel, the USB. And the yellow and red ones are for the power and reset switches. I've, I've yet to sleeve those. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sleeve this. Uh, this right here is actually a dual power supply uh, switch. And when we get to the other side of the case, I'll, I'll uh, let you see how that's hooked up. But I'm running two power supplies in here. Um, back of the reservoir, you can see there's a tube on the inside and a tube on the outside. Uh, this tube on the inside actually is the exit of the water going to the pump and everything on the other. And this right here is where the water comes back into the res, um, which is spinning the, the uh, indicator in the EK uh, dual bay reservoir. I really like that because it lets you know that your stuff is still working and your, your pump is still pumping. Um, uh, set the camera down really quick and we will take a peek at the other side where all the cables and the wires and all that stuff are hiding. You know, I guess before I, I remove the door on this side, um, I'll just show you a, a, a little mod that I did. Uh, I actually cut two 120 millimeter holes in the tented plexi that I've got on the power side to kind of ventilate the air um, because I am I am sucking in uh, the cool air from the outside and it's getting put in the case and I needed to get that air out of the case um, so it doesn't heat up the, the uh, radiator that's on that side so um, I've got a couple Silent X uh, red LED 120 fans on this side um, no particular reason why I stuck them in this place uh, I guess other than the fact that I've got a Corsair AX1200 power supply on the bottom and a Corsair AX850 um, above that um, so uh, the fans wouldn't really fit on that side so I stuck them on here I guess I could have done them on the top as well or maybe add a third later down the road but who knows um, let me unplug um, I guess what you call what you call the business side of the case um, because it is double wide um, you're actually able to put all your power stuff, accessories, everything over here. Let's see if I can get more light. Um, here's another GTX Black Ice 360 Rad. Um, this one right here is actually cooling my processor. Um, the one on the other side is cooling the three graphics cards. But to kind of give you an idea, um, if you remember on the reservoir the other side, the, the water was actually coming out, and this is where it goes through the wall it's coming out into my pump um, oh I've actually switched pumps as well there's a Swift Tech MCP 655 pump um, and I've got a bits power um, top on it um, it actually goes into the pump here comes out into this res and from the res through to the other side and that's where you see the the loop going to the to the CPU um, it was kind of a tight fit, fit everything in here. Uh, they've got some really nice modular hard drive bays. Uh, I've got a 2 terabyte here and a 120 vertex here. Um, I'm running two power supplies, as you can see. Um, 
I love these Corsair power supplies. They're awesome. Uh, that's a, an AX1200, and that right there is an AX850. Uh, great stuff. Uh, can't say enough about Corsair. I've, I've been really, really happy with it. Let's swing back over to the other side, and I'll kind of show you why I set the loop up. Okay. Um, remember, uh, exiting into the pump, this is coming back. Um, but when it comes out of the, the radiator on the other side, I've got a Coolant's quick disconnect fitting here. Um, looping into uh, an EK HF Supreme water block. Um, I've switched to a black one versus the clear. Uh, comes out of the block into another Coolant's quick disconnect fitting. Um, runs through this second rad. Comes out into the first card, second card, third card. And down here you can see another Coolant's quick disconnect fitting where it's running back to the other side um, where there's a 90 degree fitting comes across back up on the other side and this is where it comes back into the into the red. Um, I like the setup it works really nice and it, it turned out real clean. Um, the reason why I use the quick disconnects here on the radiator and on the bottom is because this has a removable motherboard tray um, so if I disconnect those four fittings um, and of course unplug all the, the power wires and everything, I can slide the entire motherboard tray out uh, without having to drain the loop, uh, which was really important to me because I'm constantly messing around with this machine. Um, so uh, that's it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe because um, as you can tell it's ever constantly changing. Um, I do have a an update that's going to be coming here pretty soon. Um, an accessory that's actually released with this with this uh, Case Labs M8 case. Um, it's called a pedestal. So it'll actually uh, raise this thing up about another 10 inches um, and give me even more space for some water cooling. Um, also at the end of the video I'll go ahead and post some pictures of um, the build process, um, just some, some quick photos, and in the description I will go ahead and link to you know, where you can find these Case Labs cases if it was something that you are interested in doing um, or, or trying to dive into. But uh, please let me know if you guys have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. Take it easy. Bye.